everybody. I'm waking up at Dan's. I'm still here and I'm on my tablet because my phone's dead and I don't get service here anyway. But um, I just wanted to show you Dan's girls. They are beautiful. Um, but too bad they're not ready to harvest, but they are gorgeous, aren't they? Um, anyway, I'm telling you, you guys, sleeping here is magical. I slept with all my windows down, and there's no bugs here. Um, it's the perfect temperature. It's, ah, you know, it makes me wonder if Dan selling this place is, you know, I mean, it's, this is really like heaven here, I'm telling you. Anyway, um, today's Saturday. I'm going to, after I take a shower and have some coffee, I'm going to hit the road and um, uh, head towards um, Salem, Oregon today. I'm not sure if, I'll, I think I'll make it there today. I haven't mapped it, so I'm not exactly sure how far it is, but um, I picked some key limes off the tree for Ruth. I'm going to take some limes to her. Um, oh, here's another lime tree right here. Oh, oh, Dan says these aren't limes, even though, let's see, let's see, can you see it? Anyway, this is an orange tree. I'm not sure what happened, but my camera turned off. I'm not sure how much of this you saw, but these are not limes. These are mandarin oranges. Um, so, obviously, they have a while to go before they are um, ripe. But the limes, the key limes, they're perfect right now. Well, I just left Dan's and I'm on my way out of his um, development. I think that's what it's called. Um, and heading towards Salem, Oregon. And it's about a six hour and ten minute drive, so it'll probably take me you know, at least seven, because with stopping to get gas and that kind of stuff. And um, Ruth is going to, or Larry, her husband, is going to barbecue a salmon tonight for dinner. Yum. Go keto. And um, so, let's go to Salem. A lot of people have asked about... Um, sleeping in the car in the heat and the air conditioning, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and that's why so many people who um, in a quarter mile. car camp turn right or live in their car live in Priuses because the nice thing about the Prius it's a hybrid, and so you can leave your um, leave it on running, and it only the engine only comes on when um, about every 15 minutes it'll come on and run for a couple minutes to recharge the battery. So you can sleep with your air conditioner on all night long. Um, it's important to keep a window cracked, I think. I mean, I do. And um, uh, You're okay. It's all right. Why are you whining? Um, anyway, so yeah, I, I mean, I stayed at that um, truck stop in Santa Clarita, and the, like I said, the overnight low was, what was it, 83, 87, something like that. It was pretty warm, and I kept my air, but that's why I didn't sleep very well, because the car starts every, you know, 15, 20 minutes or something like that, and when it starts, it makes a little jerking, um, but I'm sure, like I said, you would get used to that after a little while. Um, I'm out here and there are uh, wildfires around and I can see so much smoke. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but see the mountains right there? You can barely see them through the smoke. Yeah, that's how smoky it is here. Ruth 
Beth just called me and is a little bit bummed because I don't know if you guys remember, but Ruth owns a um, winery slash vineyard in Salem. And she has sent me tons of pictures of her property and her view. Right and oh my gosh, it is gorgeous. But she just called me and said that they're expecting um, lots of rain for the next five days and basically the view has disappeared behind the clouds darn it so i won't get to see that but i've seen pictures it's beautiful right there on the right. Oh my gosh. There's like a million grapes on those vines. We are on her deck and um, she also has some girls growing. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. You're within the law. Oh, this is so gorgeous. And she's got the great blue heron. Yeah, I could live here, except that it's in the northwest and rains. This is the first day of fall, even though it really isn't, but I think it is fall time in the northwest. We have seen the last of summer. <laughs> 